to witness the joining of matrimony of Jordan Patrick on the sun. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Today is a celebration of love, commitment, friendship, family, and of two people who after eight years are definitely in it forever. Now, you may have met by chance, but today you're definitely here by choice. And through the vows that they make today, Jordan and Megan are pledging themselves to each other for all the years ahead, believing that through the strength their marriage will bring, they will share whatever life may be. You may have met by chance, but today you're definitely here by choice. And through the vows that they make today, Jordan and Megan are pledging themselves to each other for all the years ahead, believing that through the strength their marriage will bring, they will share whatever life may be. Never for one moment expected to be delivering a part of the bride's speech before turning 40. But nonetheless, I couldn't be more honoured or privileged to be afforded this role on Jordan and Meghan's special day. Not least because I get to stand in for such a great man, who I think would all give the air just to have him stood here speaking with you now. And he'd wanted Meghan to know just how beautiful she looks in her dress today. And just as I was, he'd have been immensely proud as he walked down the aisle and passed her hand to Jordan's.
they will exchange vows which will unite you in matrimony. The words are a formal and a public pledge of your love and a promise of lifelong commitment to each other. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Jordan. To witness that I, Jordan. Do take thee, Megan. Do take thee, Megan. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. Megan, I call upon. I call upon these persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Megan. To witness that I, Megan. Do take thee, Jordan. To take thee, Jordan. To be my lawful wedded. To be my lawful wedded husband. Megan, I promise to live together in love and harmony. In love and harmony. To cherish and care for you. To cherish and care for you. Whatever the future may bring. Whatever the future may bring. Jordan, I promise to love you forever. To be open, honest, and to be, faithful to you. To be open, honest, and faithful to you. To support your dreams. To support your dreams. And to respect your thoughts and feelings. And to respect your thoughts and feelings. I promise to stand with you as we share this life, as we share this life and, cherish the memories that we make. and cherish the memories we make. Megan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and affection. As a symbol of our love and affection. And in recognition. And in recognition of our shared life together. Of our shared life together. Wear this ring. Wear this ring. With a feeling of love and joy. With a feeling of love and joy. I choose you to be my wife. I choose you to be my wife this day, and every day. this day and every day. Jordan, I give you this ring as a symbol of my endless love. For as a symbol of my endless love for you. All that I am. All that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I bring to you. I bring to you. May this ring. May this ring. Remind us of this moment. <laughs> remind us of this moment. And the commitment. And the commitment that I have made. That I have made to you. So Jordan and Megan, today you're choosing you each other before all your family and friends begin the next chapter in your life. In the privacy of your hearts, let your love and let your friendship guide you as you learn and grow in the path of marriage. You've both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of all your guests here today. And by the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of wedding rings, it is my absolute privilege <laughs> and very, very great pleasure to be the first to congratulate you both and tell you that you are now legally husband and wife. I'd like to take this opportunity as definitely the first and probably the last time I will get to speak on Megan's behalf. <laughs> first off, we would like to thank Phil for giving Megan away today. We'd also like to thank all of you for coming and joining us on this amazing day. There are many of you who made it here to join us, but there are a few that are no longer with us simply or can't be here today. I'd like to take a moment to raise a glass for all those people, Kev, Uncle Richard, Nanaka, and many more. Having been part of Megan's life now for over 20 years, I can perhaps impart some advice on how to get by with her. 
Now, I think it's fair to say Megan operates at a certain volume. And, and, and when writing this, I was actually thinking about how best to describe it. it. It's actually that volume with your Amazon Alexa, when you want to turn it down and you shout over, Alexa, volume down, but nothing happens because it can't hear you. If you're lucky enough to get past the many layers of bravado and confidence that she wants to show to the world, beneath it all actually lies a very sensitive and loving girl who wants to be liked and make people happy. She's loyal and she'll have you back to the very end. Yes. Having gone through so many testing times in her life and having had so many instrumental figures in her upbringing pass under such cruel circumstances, she's displayed a level of resilience and inner strength where many would have faltered and crumbled. And she still continues to party on with a smile on her face, usually till the end of the night. And Jordan, without stroking your ego too much, I think it's fair to say that since the day she met you, she's had an extra glow about her and you've provided a certain balance to her life, so you'll be very much a welcome addition to the family. I would like to do a few personal thank yous. First of all to the Scots for being so welcoming and accepting me into the family. You really have been like a second set of parents to me. To my mum and dad, I'd like to thank you both for your love and support all these years. And I know Megan would want to let you know how grateful she is for raising such a fine specimen of a man. <laughs> for my best man, Steve, or Stalins as most know him. <laughs> Our friendship is coming up for 30 years now, and we've got many funny stories together. Some of these I hope you'll hear today, but those, most of them I hope you don't. For anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Stephen, best man to Jordan, and it really is nice to meet me. Sorry guys, but I've got to get something off my chest that's been troubling me all day. Oh my god! Oh, that's bad. There you go. <laughs> I have many stories about Jordan, but alarmingly very few are fitting for a family setting. When Jordan first met Megan, I had many questions. What does she look like? How's her personality? You know, how will she cope? Are they well suited? And I think they are, because Megan runs a dentist and dealing with Jordan is like pulling teeth. <laughs> Here we are, your day has arrived. Is that an A scrumple? Yeah. Well, like, give us some more ground. Yeah, okay. okay. And we are so honoured to stand by your side. Today you've married the love of your life, and you'll be ending the day as Jordan's wife. <gasps> we want you to know we've pulled to every part. And we cannot wait for the next chapter to start. We've been together through thick and thin and will continue to be through every loss and win. Today there's nothing we'd rather have done than watch you walk down the aisle and become Mrs. Barnes. <laughs> you fill up our days with fun and with laughter, but here's to yours and Jordan's happily ever after. <laughs> As you're going to say, I do. We've put this film together as a great big thank you. You really mean the world to us. We hope you'll always know. Wherever life may take you, we will always gladly go. Thanks for all the memories. We wouldn't change a thing. Thanks for the happiness and our friendship that you bring. So now it's time to watch our film. This little gift to you. Click the fun and good times. Love your bridesmaid through. Becky, Amy, Claire, Nicole, Rogan, and Amy. Eight years ago in Scrooge's when we first laid eyes on each other, I couldn't have imagined that I'd be here today having just married my best friend and the mother of my two beautiful children. I think Meg had actually come to the conclusion that I wasn't ever going to propose. So when I finally went down on one knee at this beautiful restaurant on, the, in, on, on Cyprus Harbour, and Meg was sitting there picking her teeth with what was left of a full rack of ribs in front of her, I knew I'd, I'd truly caught her off guard. So when things go wrong for us, like Marnie breaking her foot the week of the wedding, or Archie being completely oblivious to the proposal we discussed a mere minute earlier, we somehow managed to laugh our way through. And that's why I know there isn't anything we can't face together. I know that if Dad was here today, he'd certainly want to leave you with this. And whilst the words may not be his exact ones, they won't be far off. We're incredibly proud of you both, not only today, but throughout your journey so far. It's been an absolute pleasure to watch on as you introduced Archie and Marnie to the world and how you both matured as parents in the process. 
And what amazing little humans they are, both who are already showing some of the characteristics of mummy and daddy, with Archie's kind of loving nature and Marnie's cheeky smile. I was gonna say, kind and of clumsiness, it would seem. <laughs> I know today is meant to be the start of the journey, but for me, yours began a long time ago. And today feels like the confirmation of a family who's just always gonna be. I'm glad you found each other. I wish you every success in life, and I can't wait to see and be a part of what the future holds for you. So if you'd all be so kind to join me, please look, raise your glasses to the bride and groom. So can we all raise a glass to the lovely couple who were always so welcoming and hospitable towards me. I'm honoured you let me have such a big part in your lives and I wish you all the best for the future. To so Jordan, and my new sponsor, Megan. Thank you. Thank you. With that, I'd like us all to raise a glass my Megs, Meglet, Megatron, and the now Mrs. Bonzer. <laughs>